I got a call uh, from uh, the White House last night, and uh, they told me about what they learned at that point. The facts continue to get clarified, but obviously it's a great tragedy when, uh, when any citizens, uh, Mexican or American, in this case American citizens, are brutally murdered. And it's uh, moms and children. This is really unthinkable. And, uh, you know, I agree with the president when he says Mexico has to really uh, knuckle down and go after some of these cartels and, and stop this, this escalating level of violence and hope that if there's a way we can help in that effort that we're called upon to do so. Uh, the, the briefings I have haven't suggested a motive, and so I, I really don't have a, an answer on that. I'd be surprised if it was a targeting, uh, frankly. I think it's much more likely to be something associated with the, uh, the business of the cartels. But, uh, but I don't think we'll know until uh, a full investigation is carried out. Uh, we have a good relationship with, with Mexico, and, and yet what's happening along the border uh, with regards to these cartels uh, and the increasing level of violence is of real concern to us and I think to the Mexican government and how to deal with it. This has been something that Mexico has been working on for a long, long time, and there's still a problem and it's getting worse. And uh, so the president says, look, let's get serious about it, and, and has indicated that he'd be willing to help, and I think that's uh, the right sentiment. Uh, I, I don't know that any people were targeted, but it's a very dangerous area uh, because there are uh, drug cartels that are working along the border, and, uh, and there are a number of uh, American families that live in that area, and that's uh, a great risk uh, to, uh, to many, many people, and particularly the idea that women and children are going to be brutally murdered. Uh, it's really unthinkable. Senator, I'm sorry, I just have another question.